Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new and only a dollar twenty-five. Now I am someone that does take you to multiple Dollar Trees throughout the entire week, so then I'm able to show you what is new and what to look out for. I'll link a few of those down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. So with that, let's just go ahead and start uh, diving in and share with you on these amazing items. So they have four new ceramic uh, jars that you can customize yourself. They're real easy to paint. Uh, this is the one that I already did. I just painted it with your basic black paint and used some of the rub-on transfers uh, th that the uh, Dollar Tree has. These are the ones they had last year, except the One Ghost is in this pack right here. They have three new sets this year. So there's this one and that one. These are real easy to use. So the one ghost right there is the one that I put right there. I haven't sealed it yet, but and I gotta fix that in there. But otherwise, that's how cute those are. And you can do it for different occasions for like baby showers, weddings, stuff like that, or your everyday decor, or for like Christmas and like Halloween, like I did. Uh, they have so many different ones of these dry flowers. I love working with these. Um, I did not pick up some of the darker color ones. I like more of the light colored, but these are real and they're only $1.25. They're just called, let's see, Galaxy Banana, assembled in the USA but you can cut little stems off. You can use it in flower, uh, flower arrangements. I've used it in a, quite a few different DIYs that I've done in the past. They also have this and another color of the dried flower. And we have those and that color. And again, they did have, I don't know, maybe a few different dozens of different flowers and fuzzies as I like to call them. But those are the colors that I really like working with. Um, let's see. Oh, I picked this up for my daughter's friend. She loves to cook. So I thought this one would be something really cute to get her that she can use when Ava goes over there. She can use it with her little sister. And there's just all different kinds of recipes and things to make. So I thought that would be something really cute to give to her. And again, only $1.25. Always be sure you check out your books at your Dollar Tree because you'll be surprised of what you can find over there for only $1.25. It's just crazy. They have three colors. They had red, black, and gray of the Ideal Kitchen Silicone Utensil Rest and Drip Pad. I went ahead and picked up the red one, and this is the one I'll put out during Christmas time. So this is made really well. This is also great to use with your glue gun. Um, anything like that, you can use that. Um, by the Closet Essentials, this is your packing cubes. It's a two pack. You get two different sizes and they only had it in the color black. So I wanted to just open this just to see. And you don't have to use it for luggage if you don't want to. This will be great to keep in your car um, to put different things in. Um, so let's try to do this up in the air so you can see what I'm trying to do. So that is not working very well. Nope. So is there two zippers, one zipper? How many zippers? Just one zipper. And why was the zipper not working right? Because it looks like it's, I don't know, we'll just do that. So it's not really deep. Am I missing something here? Why does it look deformed? I don't know. What do you put in there? A piece of paper? Not very deep. Let's try this one. Any luck with this one? A little bit deeper. But again, I, mean, I guess you put like maybe hand wipes in there, maybe some sanitizer or band-aids or something. But why is that not? I don't know. Why make the simplest thing so difficult? That one's not bad. I mean, it's a little bit better and you get a little... Uh, air vent thing. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to try those and just see. You never know. 
They had two different sets of these wood frames by Crafter Square. You get four per pack. Be something really cute for your little ones to customize, maybe for grandma and grandpa. You can make little Christmas ornaments like keepsake, take pictures of your pets or stuff like that, or use them as uh, name tags on gifts. Just add some twine and they can keep it and hang it on their tree for the many years to come. So they had that size and this one right here these were hanging up on a plastic strip over there with all the other craft supplies so those are the two different ones that they had uh they also came out with some new silicone molds by crafter square these are really thick um i've already used the heart one i made a picky pad so you can see how thick those are so they have the heart and i guess this is like maybe a flower kind of shape but see how thick that is now you don't have to use it with just silicone um, I've used these with the uh, ceramic which I oh, I don't have one around here well there's one way over there but I've made a lot of different ceramic things but they had a few other shapes but those are the two I wanted to get um, here they had a victory league boys boxer briefs um, this is a size, what size, large, which is a 1012. They had it in the gray, and I do believe they had it in black. So, let me go ahead and, do I have scissors? I do. Wow. Two in a row. I am coming. Let's see. I don't know if these will fit my son or not. Mmm, they might actually kind of nice so this is what they look like nice stretchy band and oh it's like a vent or whatever you want to call it what do you want to call that where it can breathe so hmm, nice and they're really soft too nice and then the other thing they had right next to that was the victory league premium comfort ribbed tank top in the color black I got an extra large. Oh, this is men's. Men's extra large. So let's take a peek at what this looks like. It's very ribby. Ribby. Oh, okay. So it's long and it's see through. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm sure you can use it with something else if you don't want to use it as a tank top. Hey, maybe turn it into a pillow of some sort or use it for a costume or... Mm, but not bad for $1.25. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. So, there you go. Uh, I think these right here are maybe a little bit bigger than what they've had in the past. I could be totally wrong, but I know they have a new lid. I've made a few of these in the past, like past past of pictures of my daughter and another one of my son and gave it to my husband but all you do is take this out and what I did I kept this sheet of paper as a template and I would lay down a piece of paper trace it and then I would glue on pictures or you can have little ones color it whatever and then you just slip it on there like that I taped it actually so you just stick it back on there and, oh wait, you put it in the inside, ding dong. There you go. I'm getting there. And then you just slip that, close it. I do not recommend putting this in the dishwasher. Do it by hand and don't let it soak in water. So they also have this twist lid there and they did have multiple colors in this. So this is a great keepsake. Um, you can do little paw prints, hand prints, footprints, all that kind of fun stuff, and do it for pretty any occasion. Um, also, they have uh, been carrying a lot of really nice Play-Doh kits. Uh, this is by Curiosity. It's ages six and up. You get five different go, and you get well, actually, you get all that for a dollar twenty-five. So. I went ahead and got the hamburger one because I wonder if you can use it with the other dough that you can get like at Hobby Lobby or whatever. 
but these are all the packs of the Play-Doh that you get. So they're soft. And then here is the little kit. Oh, look. So there's the kit. Put the uh, Play-Doh in there. Oh, look at the French fry one. You clamp it shut and then pull it out. That's cute. And you get the little plate. Who's guilty of trying to eat Play-Doh when you're younger? I didn't really eat it. I like put it on my tongue because it was like salty. Weird, I know. I used to eat crayons. It would only be the Crayola crayons because I guess they had a better flavor. I remember eating those when I was little and I would spit them out the car window and then it would stay in my mom's car. <laughs> oh, the good old days. Okay, so now the Dollar Tree. I already took the package off. Um, they have these pictures with, this is like a, is it plexi glass or whatever it is? And then the wood frame. So that's really cool. And if you didn't want to keep the picture in there, you can take it out. You can use the plexiglass and something else. Use the frame for something else. It does have a little thingy hanging maneuver there if you wanted to hang it up. So I actually thought the picture is really cute. And I'm going to put like a little ghost, maybe a little pumpkin or something, do a scenery for Halloween. So grab that. And this picture frame was really nice. I only found this at one of my Dollar Trees and only one time I picked up two. These are four by six. Well, that's the size of picture that it holds, but it almost feels like a, like a wood kind of stone, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But look how cool that is. That's a really nice frame. So that is a really good deal. Oh, uh, they normally have just a two pack of this and now they have a four pack of the ideal kitchen toothpick containers and these are 100% natural. I got the green. I like keeping these in the car. You can keep them upstairs. You use them for your crafts. So I like how you get four packs and it just has the little um, twist top. So all you have to do is just turn it upside down to get a toothpick out. And they are plastic, so all you do is turn there, and you tip it, and there you go. So, yes, four pack, not a bad deal. All right, they also have these again this year. These are their glass laboratory flasks. You get the two pack. Now, these are really cute to use the rub-on transfers on, so that would be something really cute. Or this might be something cute to do for maybe the tooth fairy or something. You have your little one put the tooth in there and I don't know, something different. I wouldn't probably put it under your pillow. You don't want to put glass under your pillow, but just trying to think outside the box. Oh, I hear Josie. I hear ya. Uh, they have some really cool glow in the dark cups right now for Halloween. It's a three pack. Um, this is what's on it right there. They are 22.8 ounce. And it says by Greenbrier. So it just says, beware, chill, spooky, boo, wicked vibes only. And again, you get a three pack. Not bad. They also had this tumbler, which I thought was cute. I'm going to give it to my daughter. But it has a little ghost on there and it just says, hey, boo. And you got the twist top right there. Another item I wouldn't recommend putting in the dishwasher. I mean, I know I have in the past, but if you can just do it by hand, I would recommend doing that. And I think, yeah, these come off too. So if you wanted to wash it, you can. So I thought those were cute. They had a few different ones, but that's the one I really liked. They have these really cool uh, glittery uh, placemats. These are 15 inches, 100% polyester. These would be really cool to decorate uh, maybe your table, um, like a centerpiece for the holidays. You can probably stick them up on your wall and do some kind of scenery. Um, with that but that'd be something really cute um so i don't know if they might come out with some other colors maybe for the holidays but right now i've only found the gold so got that i also got the glitter is it tool toy not sure uh six inch by three yards they are getting a lot of their christmas uh craft stuff out so i thought this one was really cute uh, they had a lot of new ones out. They have the candy cane one, this real beautiful blue, which is really cute. But this is the one that I decided to get right now. But look how cute that is. So very glittery, which it's a messy, but it's very cute. I like it. So there's that. And look at this CD. 
It's um, a novel and you can just listen to it. It sold for $39.99 in the US and $54.50 in Canada. And you get eight CDs in the pack. So if you're driving long distance and you didn't want to listen to the radio, you can just listen to a book. So grab that. Also, I always stock up when they have big things of the duct tape. And this is the Tape It Power duct tape used by Real Pros. It is uh, 12 yards. Yeah, made in the USA. So you get a quite a bit, almost double the amount that they normally carry. So I do stock up on this and then they're like packing tape that I've hauled before. So just grab some of those. And uh, this is the hair mask. It's for the anti-breakage and strength chemically damaged hair by Spa Luxury. I think there were six different ones or maybe just four. But I thought this one smelled the best and it's for like breakage and strength for my daughter's hair. It's a six ounce and this one actually smelled pretty good. That's what it looked. Oh, what, where'd that go? Oh boy, where'd that, oh, it went in my hair. Well, <laughs> makes it smell good. Oh man, I didn't think it was going to be where that runny. Well, I guess we learn something new every day, don't we? And I don't have anything to wipe it up on. Well, I'll just stick it on the rug like I normally do. There we go. Smells good, though. Yeah. At least it was something that smelled good that was spilt. Um, they have some blind bags of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are for ages three and up. She's getting a little impatient. And there's 16 to collect. I already opened it. I did not see a cheat code on these. Anytime that I find a cheat code on any of their blind bags, boxes, or anything, I always point that out to you guys. Um, but I wanted to show you what... Oh, you get two of them in here. I forgot. You get two. There's some of the different ones that you can get. And they do have the checklist. I guess I could have showed you that one. I know you're there, Joey. And there's the checklist. And these are the two that we got. Splinter. So I think actually one of those are rare. Let me see. Oh, I just put my hand in it. Well, ooh, they're actually pretty, look at that. Pretty sucky. Oh, that's on uh, Elf, isn't it? Very sucky. Oh, that was when he was in the mail room. Uh, fine. So, all right, got that. And the other, oh, this. I wish I only bought one, but I bought two because I really didn't know what they looked like. But these are the Bubbaloons Lil Pops. Again, these are blind containers. And I do think, yeah, the cheat code they had, because I did compare these. You're going to look for this white sticker right here. and It's the last two digits. That's going to determine... Uh, you know, if you get a different one, so if there's like, say, 10 different ones, you're going to look for 10 different uh, last numbers there, and you'll get different ones. Um, so I got that one. I mean, it's nothing, it's kind of squishy. It looks like it might go on a pencil or something. And I don't know if I have the scissors to open this. Oh, yeah, I do. Let's see if I can do it really quick. Maybe. I mean, why do they... I don't understand why they, these, they wrap these up so tight. Why? <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to be able to get this open. Because I wanted to show you everything that it comes with, which is kind of weird. I honestly, personally, don't think it's worth $1.25. So who knows what these actually went for, like say at Walmart. If I had a guess, probably $5. But this is the container. It is plastic. There's the top. Comes with the little straw. And it's just cotton candy. I don't think it's cotton candy. <laughs> I need to put it in my mouth. It looks like insulation for our house and I just stuck it on my tongue. And this is the little thing we do And this is the one I got in there. So 
I just checked the different numbers so I knew I was not going to get a duplicate and I cannot believe I put that must just be like fluffy stuff but I mean it's cute but if you can find it cheaper than a dollar 25 I'm probably spend no more than a dollar probably for that so got that uh, a couple other items this is their marble loaf cake and chocolate it's a 7.05 ounce so I rarely ever haul food I do buy a lot of food at the dollar, dollar tree I just don't I just don't haul it that much but I do want to open one of these I'm gonna try the chocolate she is really throwing a tantrum back there. She is letting me know that she is not happy. Right, Joey? Let me know what time it is. Um, come on. Please tell me it's supposed to. Oh, no. Best before 04 April of 25. What's that? What is that? That's mold, right? Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna throw that out. And I don't even know if I'm gonna open this one. This one is April 5th of 25. Anybody else have any issues with these? Okay, we got a normal one. Smells good. So I do believe that's what it's supposed to look like. And oh my god, a science project. And that is the other one. Oh, that's bad. No. Leave it to me. When I finally haul food, I get a a fuzzy piece of cake or whatever that is. Uh, so well. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I got a little bit more over here. Um, as you know, the Dollar Tree has been carrying a lot, a lot, a lot of socks. And I'm just going to go ahead and just lay these out, scan through them really quick for you. Um, I did not buy all the new ones, um, but some of these are just too cool to pass up. We got like tap, uh, Top Gun, Forrest Gump, Happy Gilmore, Madagascar, uh, some of the Marvel. You have David Bowie, you got ACDC, Spider-Man, um, Warheads, Blow Pop, Honey Bun, Tootsie Pop, Sugar Daddy, Tootsie Roll, and oh, Nutter Butter, Planters, Oreos, all that fun stuff. So I think they're going to start just carrying a bunch of different ones like this all the time now. So... If you enjoy buying these for family members or yourself, then just keep an eye out because they are going to constantly be getting more and more in. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. Also, like I stated at the beginning, if you wanted to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Macari, I will link that down below as well, where I've been uh, selling some of my clothes, bracelets, um, uh, keychains, necklaces, and some other craft stuff that I've made recently. So you can check that out if you want to. Also, um, I have a PO box down below. I'm going to start doing giveaways again. So um, if I remember, I'll put like some of the rules down below and you can read it and I'll just do more of a fill in later on in the week or the following week to give you some more info when the video is not almost 25 minutes long. So with that, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, a beautiful, safe day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Stinky fart. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
But if you want to try... Josie, the squirrel's in the tree. Josie. Come here. The squirrel's right here. Come on. Go get it. It's in the tree. Wrong tree. You poor thing. You have no clue. Come here. It's in this tree, honey. Josie, look. Right? There you go. <laughs> Are you a hunting dog? You're not built like a hunting dog. But that's all right. You're a back door, back door, back door, <laughs> backyard hunter. No squirrel today. You can't climb trees. All right, get your cardio in. It's gone, honey.